So I think as you already discussed, the, the, the technology in the mobility space is just evolving faster than, than we can um, keep up with, and certainly at a, at a greater pace than the traditional endpoint. So, sure. so that's, um, that's one key lesson learned is that we've got to increase the pace or find ways to, to deliver this on a, on a more rapid pace. Uh, the, the other is, um, you know, we've talked about it a few times in terms of changing the way you imagine how you're doing it. And, and we started with this, this phase of, well, let's just make everything mobile. So we had a lot of mobile websites and, and we, we, we displayed them better on the, on the smartphones. But now we're really getting into this where our business and mission representatives are being very creative in terms of how they use these devices or these platforms to do their job. And it's our job to respond. Sure. Uh, so, and that, that, that becomes difficult. It comes down to the user experience, and, and folks have talked about that. Um, the one, I guess, highlight I'll make is, is really, from, from DHS's perspective, it took us, uh, it took the, the community a while to, to develop those governance processes on the traditional endpoints, so desktops, laptops, and, and, um, and there's really no expectation that it's not going to take us a while to figure this one out, too. It really is a, a, a new uh, distribution platform, a new, a new uh, maintenance um, processes that are, that are needed in order to effectively support the user in this space. So as we develop those from concept to, to DCOM, and you were talking about that cycle is, mm -hmm. is much, much more uh, rapid at this point. So I would say we need to focus on the acquisition model, um, the sustainability models that we have in place for these these devices and the ecosystem. Yeah, that terrific. 